Wow, look at the amount of aluminium in this. Would you check out that? Look at that. That's the front, well, forms the front structure of the car. So no bumpers here. Look at just pure aluminium. Beautiful. What's up everyone, Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7 and I'm not used to this type of uh, car. This is a drift car and apparently it is quite a good one at that. It is the Fijon, or I'm not too sure how you pronounce it, FJ9, one-tenth scale drift car. Now apparently this car is exactly the same or they must be in cahoots because this one looks exactly like the D9 Bulldog, I believe from uh, Dean Tech. And I think it's been out for a few years now, but uh, I haven't seen anything like this before. It actually looks like a real car. It's actually got like McPherson strut front suspension system here, which is unique. I haven't, <laughs> to be honest, I've never seen that before. And I'm the biggest newbie when it comes to RC drift cars. Um, so this one is a kit you have to build everything yourself. It doesn't even come with the aluminium wheels that you see here, but about 98% of this is carbon fiber and aluminium which is awesome so yes this will probably be my next build series in this video i just wanted to show you the absolute uh, quality that you get out of the uh, parts in here it is a kit and it's a, a little bit chinglish so the um, manual isn't the best but uh, let's go have a look what you get inside so first up you are greeted with this manual fj9 one tenth and yeah like i said Check out the Dean Tech D9 Bulldog cause it is exactly the same. So they must have some type of uh, collaboration here or these guys are selling them now. And uh, yeah, like I said, here is the instructions. We'll quickly go through it. Apparently it is a pretty complex build and there isn't, you know, that much writing involved. Just put this there, put that there. And uh, yeah, I would not recommend this for your first time kit. So the unique thing about this car, it's got like a, a pulley system and a drive shaft like a combination exactly like a real car you could say I don't think it's for performance it's more for the looks because I think once this is all together and you get a cool size uh, or cool body to put on top it does look very realistic so your motor goes in here and it drives this pulley here which in turn drives this pulley which in turn drives <laughs> the rear drive shaft which is really really cool and there's another pulley there so yeah, well that drives a, looks like the rear diff, or wouldn't even be a diff, it'd probably be just a straight axle, wouldn't it, for, for drifting purposes. But there we go. <laughs> really, really cool. Check that out. Yeah, I'm blown away by how realistic it is. And there you go, there's a like McPherson strut front suspension there. <laughs> Check that out, isn't that really cool? Obviously that's going to be a, a unique style of suspension, um, like in the size of them, the length. So you're probably limited in what you can buy for those. You probably have to just stick with the ones that you get in the kit. But the rear suspension is uh, the normal style. Yeah, wow, so there's a lot to this. Yeah, and I wouldn't <laughs> recommend building this if it was your first kit. So check that out. Even it looks like a car just without the body on it. It's got a really wide bottom uh, plate and I'll show you that later on. I just wanted to show you the manual here, but yeah, pretty full on. Check it out, but enough of that. I want to show you all the awesome quality parts, because like I said, 98% of this is aluminum and carbon fiber, which is very impressive. Now, as this is the first video, let's just open up some of the parts and let's see what you get. So this is bag B. All right, and just from looking at them really quickly, the machining on these parts is really, really good. And I saw a review on Big Squid, I think it is RC, about the Bulldog. And uh, they mentioned that this stuff is real high quality and everything, the fit and finish is top notch. There you can see, there's some of the belts there. Suspension system, more bullies. Sorry, more bullies. <laughs> more pulleys. Oh look, there's a probably something that makes up 1% of the plastic more drive shaft components and there's the, that's I think the only other few parts that are plastic as well the part for the rear suspension but yeah wow check that out okay let's check out bag A I just put all the 
bag B stuff back in that bag because now I want to try and keep everything in a semi neat order. Wow, look at the amount of aluminium in this. Would you check out that? Look at that. That's the front, well, forms the front structure of the car. So no bumpers here. Look at just pure aluminium. Beautiful. How would you check? Oh, that's uh, I think part of the rear drive shaft or rear drive section there. Unbelievable. And please, guys, if you if any of you know anyone or have this kit, please let me know your experiences or yeah, let me know where I'm going wrong. Look at that. Unbelievable. I've never had a kit with this much aluminium. Wow. Oh, check that out. That's nice. Pinion is already attached to that particular section. But yeah, just that's amazing. But wow, I'm, I'm really impressed. Well, no bag number, but this looks like a lot of the uh, suspension components. If you want to go check this out, link is in the description. It's from Banggood. It's newly listed on their site. And they asked me if I want to check out this. And I said, hey, look, I'm a newbie at uh, this drifting stuff, but definitely have a look at it. So there's your fluid all in there. What else we got? Wow, well, look, yeah, <laughs> all other types of stuff. A lot of hardware. Look at those tiny, tiny, tiny ball bearings there as well. Wow, well, check that out. Now, I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I'm pretty excited. I'm, like I said, I'm very new to the drifting scene. And uh thing with this kit has no electronics. You need to get the servo, the sorry, steering servo, ESC, motor, wheels, and all that kind of stuff and body, but... The majority, or the the main source of it, is all here. The uh, the juicy stuff. Check out that flange bearings and all this, all other good stuff in there. Oh, wow, it just doesn't stop. It's like I'm a kid at Christmas time. Here we go. Here's the shock assembly. Here we got there. Oh look, another bit of amazing. What's this black material? <laughs> yes, it's plastic. Seems to be a rare commodity in this kit. Now the cheap looking part in this kit is the two imitation driver seats and there is a dashboard part here as well obviously you can paint them black to give it that realistic scale interior but here is bag f and this obviously is the chassis and when i first looked at this i was like wow is that actually a one tenth scale because it's so wide but it's actually well the proper width but normally an rc car isn't this well designed or this similar to a normal actual road car okay so bag with inner bag let's open this bag that uh, website wasn't wrong about the quality of these parts wow check that out that is really nicely finished unbelievable I'm really really impressed and there yeah, look how wide that is I've got my trusty ruler here so yeah hundred and well let's get it up from the widest point 185 mil bottom chassis Check that out, it's huge, isn't it? So I'm just blown away because I'm, I'm not used to them like that. Normally this width is actual, the body itself, not the lower part of the car. That's really nice. And here are the rest of the carbon fiber parts. Wow, wow, look at them all. Look at these little pieces, so small. This is incredible, can't believe how much stuff is in here. This is gonna be a pretty full on kit. Part of the front of the car. Totally blown away by the amount of parts in this kit. And here is everything laid out on the table. These are all the parts that you get in the kit, bar the uh, instruction manual. But yeah, you can just see there are quite a few parts in this kit. Awesome, eh? Really looking forward to getting into this one. And that's not even all of them. Still need to get the, all the electronics, the body, the wheels, the tyres. Happy days. So if any of you guys know what uh, electronics will be suitable for this, I'm guessing some type of brushless setup, a really quick digital uh, steering servo, and obviously a LiPo battery. That's, you know, I don't know what else you can put in here. I don't think it has to be high torque or massively torque uh, servo like I'm used to with my monster truck. I just, I guess it has to be really, really fast and just a, a decent brushless motor and a decent ESC. But uh, anyone knows, please leave them down in the comment section uh, down below. 
And if you want to know, it's $280 US for this kit as it is. So that's about, what, $350 odd Australian. It's from Bagwood. Link is in the description down below. But yeah, 280 bucks for all this aluminium, carbon fiber, and about 2% plastic, but you have to get the motor, ESC, servo, all the electronics, battery, uh, wheels and tires, and body. So, hey, I'm not too sure. Is that a good deal for a, a professional drifter? I'm not sure. From going by this part and what you've quickly just seen in this first video, the uh, quality looks amazing, and I really can't wait to get in and start building it. So any questions, please leave them down below, guys. Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I'll be doing the build series for this, and there's heaps of uh, monster truck stuff, FPV, drone, all that kind of good stuff coming up on the channel. So thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it, and I will see you in the next video.